Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Sports on Tap's coverage of the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Senior All-Star Game live from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. This is Tim Nichols sitting in for Ed Dick and Sean Duffy. Tim Nichols from CVCA Livestream, ready to bring you all the coverage today of the Senior All-Star Game from the home of the Cleveland Monsters. The Sports on Tap team is here to bring you all the coverage this afternoon, and we'd like to thank our sponsors right out of the gate. Ray Felton, State Farm Insurance, the lead sponsor for Sports on Tap out of Hudson, Ohio. It's Hockey Night in Northeast Ohio, an afternoon on a Friday, and we'd like to thank Ray Felton, State Farm Insurance. Hand-built leather goods. Hand-built leather goods, the sponsor this season on Sports on Tap for the penalty box sin bin. Hand-built leather goods. Check them out for all your leather goods needs. RRT Productions, rrt-productions.com. RRT Productions, thank you to them. And last but not least, Troutland Entertainment for your best in DJ needs. Check them out at Troutland Entertainment. Four teams this afternoon made up of eight skaters each. We've got a pair of goaltenders uh, that will work this afternoon for all the teams. 32 All-Stars in attendance as skaters and two goaltenders. The format this afternoon will be four Games of 20 minutes each, 10-minute running clock halves. Games 1 and 2 will determine who will play in the consolation and in the championship games. The entire afternoon will take place over the course of a two-hour period here as the first two teams are on the ice and getting ready to go this afternoon. Team Blue and Team Black. They'll go by colors. Uh, team Blue and Team Black. The players were all disseminated upon each of the individual teams in a draft that took place live here on Sports on Tap on Monday evening, the Team Blue team it will be coached by Rocky River head coach Chris Kogan, and he's got five, count them, five of his own players that he was able to pick in the draft for this Team Blue team. The black team will be coached by Aurora head coach Joe Laurie. Coach Laurie had a pair of all-stars, but both of those in spring sports and Will Fifner and uh, a teammate as well. Um, unable to make it today due to spring sports commitments, so Coach Laurie went east side and went blue to start out his draft. He's got a pair of Kenston Bombers. Kenston with over 30 wins this season, Troy Cray and Tommy Moores. He's also got a pair of Baron Cup champions in Alexander Rzepka and Ben Trombetto from Benedictine. Back on the black side, we mentioned the five individual Rocky River Pirates. Sean McDonough, A.J. Ritvo, Jacob Jackson, Lucas Opdyke, and Luke Skepoulos, all from Rocky River in the red. They had a great campaign this season uh, at Rocky River. That team will be uh, will also have three other members, and one of them is Jason Heine from Olmstead Falls, and then a pair of all-stars from the Blue Divisions, Aiden Kabeck and Ethan Emery Kabeck representing the Chagrin Falls Tigers and Emery representing NDCL. And they're going to announce the, the teams. And so first team blue, number nine, Lucas Opdyke. Number 11, A.J. Ritvo. Luke Skaplis from Rocky River. He's a defenseman. And as mentioned, Sean McDonough will wear number three today. Jason Heine will wear number four for the blue team from Olmstead Falls. Aiden Kabik, number 10, heads out to the blue line. And Ethan Emery from NDCL. For the black team, for Coach Lowry, Troy Cray will wear number three this afternoon. Alex Zepka from Benedictine, number four. Ben Trombetto, as we mentioned, wears number five with the black team this afternoon. Tommy Morris from Kenston, the defenseman, will wear number six. 
a trio of Westlake players. Sam Dosa first, and then Christian Harrison, Harrison wearing number seven and eight. And then Solon's Ben Carrier. And the Orange Lions representative Brandon Lurie for Team Black. They're going to play the national anthem here before we get festivities started. So we're going to pause now as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. The anthem completed. Parents and friends in the stands behind the two benches, and we're about ready to get underway with the Greater Cleveland High School All-Star League, or rather the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League's 2024 Senior All-Star Game here on Sports on Tap. The goaltenders, as we mentioned today, there are a pair of them, and they'll play all afternoon. In this game, in goal for Team Blue will be Vincenzo Bacardi from Westlake, Picardi, four shutouts on the season, a senior, acquitted himself very well over the course of the season for the Westlake Demons. The Demons advance all the way to the Barron Cup final in the Barron Cup 3 Blue Division. And Bacardi uh, had a cheering section for him up in Brooklyn about a month ago. He goes by Vinny, or when that cheering section is there, Vincenzo, they like to yell out. On the other side, we only have one senior goaltender, so stepping in, and playing this afternoon is Ryan Wilkinson from Mentor. Wilkinson will get a fair amount of playing time this afternoon. Taking a break from his lacrosse activities where he scored a goal for Mentor yesterday. Back in between the pipes for Team Black. We're underway and the blue team has the puck. And they're into the offensive zone. They send it down low into the corner. Controlling first action of the afternoon. Ten minute running periods into the corner. On the far side of the ice, we are all the way down to the other side of the ice. We're trying to pick out the numbers for you. The puck is turned over, and the black team clears it out to center ice for the moment. It's sent right back in and taken right back in by Luke Scapulis. Scapulis cross ice, looking for Jacob Jackson. Five Rocky River Pirates on this team, and four of them right now out on the ice to start this action off. Team Blue up to the point. A shot in and is pushed aside by the goaltender Wilkinson into the corner. And Team Black will try and break out and angle it off the boards. Into the offensive zone. It's loose in front and cleared out of the slot to the near side corner. On the puck there was Sam Dosa. Now a teammate. That was Rezepka. Cross ice into the circle. A centering pass is knocked down. And Team Black will break out with it. It's Jacob Jackson as the change happens behind him. And Jackson gets a trio of new teammates who are trailing behind him. Sends it to one of them. It's broken up. Up to the left point, Aiden Kabeck sends it down low. It's loose in front and slips out to neutral ice. And now Team Black will change. 8.35 to go, running clock here. First half of action, two halves in this All-Star game into the offensive zone. A shot and a save by Wilkinson. That shot was off of the stick of A.J. Ritko. And sent right back out and collected in the defensive zone by Team Blues. Ethan Emery back into the offensive zone and kept in at the left point. Sent in and Wilkinson sticks it aside. A funny bounce and a shot up into the glass and ricocheting down. It's going to make its way to the left of Wilkinson down to the eight-minute mark here in the first of two halves. 
of this first contest. Winner will advance to the championship game, which will be the fourth game this afternoon. The loser will play in the consolation game, uh, which will be game number three. That's chipped up and out. Here comes a rush for Team Black into the offensive zone. Two on one if they hurry. A centering opportunity knocked aside. A good defensive play that time by number 10, Aiden Kabeck of Chagrin Falls. Puck is loose in the neutral zone. And finally collected and sent up ice. It's chipped in by Scapulis, and just from beyond the red line, whistle blows the first of the afternoon, an icing call. With about 7.10 to go, and they'll bring it all the way down the ice. It'll be a face-off in the defensive zone of Team Blue, right to the left of Vincenzo Bacardi. Right below us, in fact, they drop it down. It's controlled by Blue into the corner, but dug out and controlled by Rezepka. He's got it on his stick, sends it up to the blue line. Cross ice attempted pass is knocked down. Loose puck and out to neutral ice it goes. Team Black on it once again. They regain the zone from his knees. An attempted pass from Ben Trombetto from Benedictine. Loose in front again. Trombetto reaches for it. Can't quite get to it. It's collected in the corner and sent around to the far side. We're waiting for it was up. number 13, Scapulis. Still in the defensive zone as Team Blue or Team Rocky River with a trio of others to go with those Rocky River Pirates. Uh, sends it out to neutral ice, but it comes right back in as we tick down to about six minutes. A shot knocked down in front, not quite all the way to the goaltender Bacardi. And Scapulis skates up. One-on-one -on -one has it poke checked away by Christian Harrison. Harrison as we've got a delayed... Offsides, and they work through that. And Team Black comes up once again. We just about mentioned Christian Harrison from Westlake. He and his sister both on that Westlake team, the Demons. Again, a great job this year to make it all the way to the Baron Cup 3 final. And Harrison was a big part of that. Into the corner. Ben Carrier from Solon had it for a moment. No score so far in this first contest. Ticking down to nearly halfway through the first period and first of two 10-minute running clock periods. It'll determine who advances to the final later on this afternoon of this All-Star Tournament. Four teams, eight skaters, pair of goalies. You're watching Sports on Tap's coverage here on the Sports on Tap YouTube page. Hockey night in Northeast Ohio on a Friday afternoon from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. The whistle blows and we might have our first penalty of the game. And we will, it's a trip. So a trip to the sin bin, and that'll be brought to you by our friends at Handbuilt Leather Goods. Handbuilt Leather Goods, sponsoring all the penalty box action this winter and soon to be spring on Sports on Tap. Into the box goes number five for the blue team. That's AJ Ritvo, a two minute penalty for tripping up on the board. Clock does stop on penalties and goals, so the time of that penalty, five minutes, seven seconds of the first period. A four on three power play right now for Team Black up to the slot. Actually, it was the high point. A shot in was knocked down, sent in lower once again and chipped away into the near side corner and cleared down the ice for a first clearance and chasing after it will be Christian Harrison. Can't get to it though. He'll have to chase it into the corner and battle it. Black comes out with it. Cross ice. It was Trombetto. Now they gain the zone. Nice stick move. A shot and a save by Bacardi. That shot was from Troy Cray. Troy Cray knows how to put it in the back of the net. 64 goals this season. For the Kenston Bombers. Ticking down to about one minute to go on the power play. Here comes a shorthanded chance. Cross ice. And still controlling is Team Blue. A shot and a score. The first of the afternoon shorthanded for Team Blue. And they are on the board 1-0.
And it looks like the goal scorer may have been Sam Dosa. Check that, Team Blue. Number seven, Jacob Jackson from Rocky River. He puts Team Blue on the board. one nothing shorthanded. Just as the power play continues. Here comes a chance in front. Controlled by Dosa. Cross ice and sent down low before it's knocked away. Knocked away by the goal scorer. Jackson and cleared down the ice. Still 23 seconds remaining on the power play opportunity, but Team Blue now leading one to nothing. A final chance on this power play for Team Black. Two on one, too far looking for Rozepka. Behind the net now, Dosa. Dosa sends it up to the point. Cross ice. Three seconds left in the penalty time. Down low and knocked down in front by Cray. Cray will chip at it. Back to even strength, four on four. 2.44 to go. Team Black centering pass is knocked aside. Tried to feather it through. That was Dosa. It goes the other direction. With speed now, two on one. Centering pass shot and a save by Wilkinson. On a two on one, nice play and back it comes quickly the other direction. Ice starting to open up here as we get down to the latter stages of this first period. Team Black controls. Sends it down low. Rozepka centers. It's knocked away and controlled by Team Blue. Controlled and coached by Chris Kogan from Rocky River. His team leading 1-0. The goal scorer tries to get another one. Shot and a save and a second shot and a score. On the rebound, it's 2-0 Team Blue. That was set up by Jacob Jackson who had the first shot. We'll try and get the goal scorer for you, but I believe it may have been A.J. Ritvo on the rebound. We'll wait for the official scoring announcement. Time of the goal. About 7 minutes and 50 seconds as the clock continues to run under 2 minutes. And it was A.J. Ritvo, the goal scorer from Jacob Jackson. So 2-0 team. Blue. So team black in a little bit of a hole. Minute 40 to go, they'll set it behind their net and try and restart. Head coach Joe Lari from Aurora sees his team in a little bit of a hole. No icing as it was deflected into the zone, so it's collected by Scapula, or Scapulus, rather. He finds a pair of Team Black players who dig it out, a centering pass, and he gets all the way through to the left point. Quick passing up to the center point, shot and a save by Bacardi. That was Brandon Lurie who fired that in there. Long angled pass, doesn't find anyone, and it's going to find the other end of the ice and an icing call with just under a minute to go. Clock continues to run as they retrieve the puck and bring it back down to the near side here where we are. Face off to the left of Bacardi with 43 seconds to go and running. Drop down and controlled by Team Blue. Out of the zone it goes before it's sent right back in. And on it is Jacob Jackson. He finds a teammate in the true sense of the word. Sean McDonough was there, and it trickles in on Bacardi, who makes a, stay, a save and covers it with 18 seconds to go. Perhaps time for one more face-off if they hurry. If not, we are nearing the end of this first period of two Team Black leading by a score of two to nothing. And it is gonna wind down. We will have a face off, it'll drop it down. Chipped forward, but time will run out. And the first period of two has come to a conclusion. The score, Team Black two and Team Blue nothing. The goal scorers in that first period Number seven, Jacob Jackson from Rocky River had 16 goals on the season. Well, he adds another one, that's 17. And the second one was his teammate from Rocky River, A.J. Ritvo. Ritvo, 19 goals, 11 assists, 30 points of the season. Got a nice goal there on the rebound that beat Wilkinson. And the teams will take a quick breather here at the end of one period. Once again, the format this afternoon on Sports on Tap. Four games, all 20 minutes running clocks. Four teams of eight skaters. These two teams, Team Blue and Team Black, coached by Chris Kogan of Rocky River and Joe Lowry of 
Aurora. Once again, as we've got a pause in the action here, as we get ready for uh, the second period, as the teams and players get a quick uh, rest break and a drink of water, we want to thank our sponsor, our lead sponsor on the season, Ray Felton, State Farm Insurance out of Hudson, Ohio. If you've got a need for insurance uh, coverage for your home or your auto, give Ray Felton and State Farm Insurance a call in Hudson, Ohio, Ray Felton State Farm. You already heard from hand-built leather goods. There was one penalty in that first period. It resulted in a shorthanded goal from number seven, Jacob Jackson, hand-built leather goods. And a big shout-out to RRT Productions at rrt-productions.com and Troutland Entertainment. Those are the key sponsors that have brought you action all winter long here on Sports on Tap. Teams back onto the ice. They switch sides. And we're back underway, the second of two periods in this contest. It's turned over, a quick chance, and a shot from point-blank range, and a save for the goaltender, Bacardi. Team Blue in their offensive zone, and they'll be shooting on Wilkinson this time. Once again, just two goaltenders. They'll play all afternoon and switch teams, I think, perhaps by period. Um, and they'll get a lot of action this afternoon. Team Blue tries to build it out, and they do. And if they hurry, they get a breakaway, and they will. In on the goaltender, and a shot high across the crossbar. Rebound is in the back of the net, and Team Blue is on the board for the first time this afternoon. Check that the third time this afternoon. It is a goal for Team Blue. Three nothing. And that was Sean McDonough that time on the rebound that beat Wilkinson. So the uh, Rocky River Pirates have a trio of goals amongst their five skaters, and they lead it 3-0 here in this contest. Here's a chance for Team Black, sending it forward into the corner, and they'll chase after it. Down three scores. Chasing after it in the corner was Cray. Behind the net, he'll look. Dishes. He was looking for number eight, Christian Harrison, skating in. Here comes a shot deflected in front. Nice save right there by Bacardi. Cray trying to deflect that into the back of the net. Meanwhile, the other direction, Ethan Emery comes. Loose puck in front in the slot. Collected and sent in. Knocked down before it got to the net as Team Blue looking for more, leading three to nothing. They'll control. Just under eight minutes to go in the contest. Again, running clock rules, two 10-minute periods. We're in the first of four games this afternoon here on Sports on Tap. This is Tim Nichols from CVCA Livestream sitting in for our friends Ed Dick and Sean Duffy. Here's a chance, and it was Harrison all the way to the blue paint. Could not finish. Shot in and a save by Bacardi. Nice move by Harrison. Tried to backhand that behind Bacardi, but could not make the final move to get Team Black on the board. McCarty stops that most recent shot, and they'll have a face-off again to his left. Lucas Opdyke, and number seven, that's Sam Dosa. See the puck drop down, and it's controlled by Team Blues. Jacob Jackson, who sends it up the ice, sent right back in, but offsides was Team Black. They had to wait, and so Jackson... Heads up the other direction for Team Blue. Skates behind the net, centers, and sends it all the way up and down the ice. Bacardi will have to play it on the near side with 6.45 to go in this first contest. Team Blue with a 3-0 lead. They send it forward again, and it is Ritvo into the offensive zone. Passes, another pass, shot, and it may have deflected off the glove of Wilkinson. Wilkinson, the only junior in this event, and he's in this event because there was only one senior all-star goaltender. Here's another chance for Team Blue, and Wilkinson poke checks that away. Skating in on him was Luke Scapulus. Down to 6.15. Team Black looking to get on the board. They send it forward into the offensive zone, but it's poke checked right back out. And here comes Blue once again. Turned over, sent forward, but right off the bench. Comes number 10 for Team Blue. 
Aiden Kabeck, and he sent it right back forward. Here's another chance. It goes wide of the goal. Jason Heine from Olmstead Falls sends it up, loses it, and now it's Sam Dosa. Dosa gains the zone. His teammates are changing behind him, so it's one on three. And Dosa sees it sent right back out to center ice. Sean, rather it was uh, Cray, tried to evade a couple, could not, and it's once again loose in the neutral zone. 3 nothing. Team Blue leading this one. Emery from NDCL angles it forward, backhanded into the zone. Black will control. Three goals so far, all by Rocky River Pirates. One penalty. One of those three goals was shorthanded. Here's a chance for Team Black. Shot saved by Bacardi. Second shot, and Bacardi cradles it and covers it with 4.55 to go and counting here. Vincenzo Bacardi from Westlake. He had four shutouts on the season in regular season play. This time we'll see a face-off to his right. Four and a half to go. Cray controls, gets it right back, centers it. And it ricochets to Ritvo. Sent into the far side corner. Harrison behind the net, sends it forward, gets it back, angles it forward, but it's collected there by Emery. He'll send it in. Puck is loose. Controlled by Team Blues, number five, that's Trombetto. Set it up to the point, but no one there. And now a chance for Team Black. A shot, and Bacardi with another save. But the highlight reel together is Vincenzo Bacardi here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. At the time, I believe he stopped Troy Cray. And whenever you stop Troy Cray, that is a feather in your cap. 3.38 to go. That's all that remains between Team Blue and a spot in the finals this afternoon in the fourth game. Here comes another chance. One on one, shot and saved by Wilkinson. Loose in front and poke checked away. Team Black now quickly down the other side. Centering pass, backhanded shot goes wide of the net. It's sent all the way around the boards and uh, no one at the left point, so out to center ice. And quickly on it is Ben Carrier from the Solon Comets. Cross ice, he finds Trombetto. And Team Black trying to enter the zone, but it was poke checked away by Jackson. Down to 2.45 to go. In the first of four this afternoon on Sports on Tap. Turnover, here's a chance. And centering, shot, another save by Bacardi from point blank range in the slot. Bacardi standing tall between the nets. The Westlake Demon is going to have to save another one, perhaps. It's sent to the near side boards. Centering pass, oh, a chance right there. Goes by the wayside. Team Black with some possession here, trying to avert the shutout. Two minutes to go, and a... Handful of seconds. Cray. Check that it was Trombetto. And another shot. Bacardi will cover with 155 to go. So the black team will say a change. And two of the four players on the ice will switch up for Team Blue as we're down to a minute 37 to go. Face off to the right of Bacardi. He's dropped down and Team Blue skates out with it. It's Ritvo. Ritvo ridden off by Tommy Moore's first mention of him this afternoon. Moore's from Kenston. Here's a shot that goes wide on the near side. Down to a minute 13. 3 nothing Blue. That's the team coached by Chris Kogan from Rocky River. He's got five of his Pirates on this all-star team. And they are one minute away from booking their slot in the championship round later this afternoon. 
Down to 50 seconds. With some speed into the offensive zone comes Team Black. And Bacardi makes another stop. That was Christian Harrison trying to make something happen. He takes a look up at the big scoreboard here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse as the clock is winding down. 25 seconds and counting. It's dropped down. One more opportunity perhaps for Team Black. A centering pass right in front, a shot, another save, and it goes wide. Bacardi is now 10 seconds away from his shutout. It's loose in front, swept to the near side. Clock winding down, and one final shot and one final stick save for Vincenzo Bacardi. The All-Star from the Westlake Demons shuts out Team Blue. The final score in this first contest of the afternoon, it's Team Blue three, Team Black nothing. So Team Blue will advance to the championship game, which will be game four, and it will start approximately 4.40 this afternoon. But stick around. We've got plenty more hockey this afternoon on Sports on Tap. It's the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League 2024 All-Star Competition. Two more teams coming right up in just a few moments. You are tuned into Sports on Tap, Hockey Night in Northeast, Northeast Ohio. Tim Nichols along with the Sports on Tap team. We're collaborating from CVCA Livestream and Sports on Tap to bring you the coverage from downtown Cleveland. Welcome back to Sports on Tap's coverage of the 2024 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League All-Star Competition, the Senior All-Star Games from the home of the Cleveland Monsters in downtown Cleveland. We've just completed the first of four contests, four teams, teams Blue, Black, and next up we'll have Team Gold against Team White. Once again, the format of this afternoon's festivities Four games of two 20-minute, or rather two 10-minute halves, 20 minutes overall, running clock, and about five minutes between games. So they're going to come fast and furious. And two goaltenders, and they will play all afternoon. And in that first game, Team Blue, coached by head coach Chris Kogan from Rocky River, shut out Team Black 3 to nothing to advance to the championship round later this afternoon. The goaltenders will play all afternoon today. Uh, there are just two of them, and in that first one, unofficially, Vincenzo Picardi from Westlake recorded 17 saves to get the shutout. We'll see how he fares in this second contest. That'll feature 16 more skaters, eight aside from uh, the best of the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League 
in Northeast Ohio this past winter. The gold team will be coached by head coach Troy Grawl of Strongsville, who could not wipe the smile off his face on Monday night during the draft. The Strongsville coach and team celebrating their first ever Barron Cup championship this past season, defeating Kenston in Barron Cup 2 competition. Strongsville finished as the fifth seed in the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League White Division, third place in the White North, and yet uh, they defeated both CVCA and Kenston, the top two teams in the, in the league, on their way to that first Barron Cup championship. And he will celebrate here as a coach of the gold team, and he will have a trio of his Strongsville Mustangs uh, to send out on the ice and, and seek another opportunity to win this afternoon. That's Brett Kappel, Will Grozen, and Michael Galchik, all from Strongsville. In addition, on the gold team, we will see Brad Sims from Kent Roosevelt as well as Dylan Gerraro and David Nayari from North Olmsted. And the team will be rounded out by Jacob Waite and Owen Tyndall from Nordonia. The white team was drafted by our good friend Josh Jeffy from Sports on Tap. It's Team Sports on Tap, as it were. And so uh, that team will include a pair of mentor cardinals in Austin Andrews and, and we'll get to that in just a moment as they're announcing the teams here, so we'll go through it with you. Will Grozen and Brett Keppel from Strongsville, as well as Mike Galchik, as we mentioned. So they're wearing three, four, and five, respectively. Brad Sims from Kent Roosevelt, as we mentioned before. Dylan Giraldo, the senior forward from North Olmsted. And David Niari as well. Niari will wear number nine. Nordonia's Jacob Waite wears number nine. And Owen Tyndall will wear number 10. And the goaltender for Team Gold will be Vincenzo Bacardi. Team Sports on tap. Number three, Austin Andrews from Mentor. And number four, Justin, Justice Owens from Amherst. Derek Pierce, the forward from the Normandy Invaders, number five. And his teammate, Wyland Hill, number six. Alessio Simpson from the Stowe Bulldogs will wear number seven. And his teammate, Mason Shaleen, will wear number eight. The face of Twinsburg hockey, Dominic Mister wears number nine. And from the Canfield Cardinals, it'll be Marcus Epp wearing number 10. And in goal, once again, Vincenzo Bacardi from the Westlake Demons. The National Anthem occurred before the first game, so there's no need to repeat it. The teams will head to their benches, and the first line will head out on the ice. Bacardi will defend the goal right below us. We are in, we'll call it the Legends Club end of Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse as we are high atop the ice in the second level. And Wilkinson, wearing the colors of Team White, will head down to the goal to our left on the far side of the ice. And the puck drops down. The first of two 10 and a halves is underway. And Team White controls. They retreat behind their own net. We are underway in game number two. And they'll work to build it out. Quick turnover right away, though. And it is Team Gold in the cream-colored uniforms and Team White, obviously, in the white. And first save by Wilkinson. Second shot and a glove save by Wilkinson and some power behind that shot from Team White's Mason Shaleem. Gold team will change. Quick shift here. And a face-off to the right of Wilkinson. One back to Team White. A quick shot and another save by Wilkinson as he slid from his right to his left and made that quick save. So three quick saves for Wilkinson. And the White team 
Sends out another line of skaters. Another quick shot, and that may have caught some of the iron. And ricochets up and out to neutral ice, and the first rush of the afternoon is thwarted by Team White, but it's dumped down low, and Team Gold has it behind their own net. Nayari has it on his stick, sends it up to the point. It's intercepted, and here comes a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. It is Dominic Mister. Mister has company, sends a shot in, and it is saved and sent up and out. This one may be an icing when it gets down to the other end of the ice, and they wave it off. So Team White will have to play it. Mister sends it forward. He's looking for Justice Owens. Owens gains the zone, drops it, and it's deflected. Kept in there at the point for the moment, and now controlled by Team Gold. In football, we'd say that's the turf monster. It was the blue line instead that took down Owen Tyndall. Results in a shot and goal and another save by Wilkinson. Shaleen behind the net. Near side now with space. Jacob Waite had it for a moment. Sends it around the boards. Tyndall can't control. A shot and a stick save by Wilkinson. So Team White looking to have the better of it so far. But here comes a chance for Team Gold. Skating in and a shot and a score. The first time today that McCarty has been beaten. And he's beaten by one of the mentor Cardinals, I believe. It's 1-0 Team Gold. We'll try and get the number there. But a red helmet, so we assume that was... Check that it might have been Brad Sims from Kent Roosevelt on the red helmet. We'll wait for the official announcement. The team for all goals, scored by number six, Brad Sims. And it was Brad Sims of Kent Roosevelt puts Team Gold on the board this afternoon, 1 0. Sims this year had 20, rather 12 goals and 22 assists for the Roosevelt team that moved up from the blue to the white division this past year. And he had an outstanding season, as we said in Monday night, did not miss a beat, and he shows off some of that talent here with a goal in the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League 2024 All-Star Game. Back underway, Team White with the puck, and they've had the better of the pressure, but the only goal so far goes to Team Gold, 1-0. And intercepted by Gold once again, and they've got a two-on-one if they hurry. Into the offensive zone, the pass connects, a shot, and a save by McCarty. On that shot for Team Gold was Michael Galchik from Strongsville. Now White on the counter. A backhanded shot pushed aside by Wilkinson. That was Austin Andrews. And Andrews representing Mentor on Team White. Now back down to the corner. Team White trying to set up. They'll cycle it back down low. It goes to Alessio Simpson. He surveys and sends it even deeper. Behind the net, quick shot, and I'm not sure it got to the net. It's cleared to the near side. We're down to 5.15 to go. So his space, a shot goes wide and collected by one of the team gold members behind his own net. And gold will try and work it out as we hit the midway part of the first of two periods. It's poke checked away, but goes forward and pushed all the way in deep. Team gold with a chance. Sharp angle shot hits the side of the net. Dylan Giraldo. Centered in front, saved by Picardo is guarding the left side of the net. And good thing he was. He keeps it a 1-0 contest. 4.43 to go, and uh, change is happening. Team White sends it forward, and it's dumped in deep. That was Marcus Epp from Canfield. Team White trailing 1-0, shot in. And now White will set up as they retreat to their defensive zone. 4.15 to go in the first period. 1-0 gold. Brad Sims with the only goal so far. Loose puck. Poke checked away and controlled. And let's play a little bit erratic here as we wind down under four minutes. 
Gold sends it forward. First time all these team players have played together for the most part, uh, with some exceptions when you've got teammates on a certain team. We saw that in the first game with five Rocky River Pirates, and certainly they've played together a lot. But here, both these teams try to feel both the other team out and them, their, their teammates, who they likely certainly know of, but just met in terms of these teams the first time in the locker room before the game. Here comes a rush by Team Gold. Nice move into the corner. Will Grozen shot and high across the crossbar of the net. Another one sent in. It's knocked down in front. And building out with it is Simpson. Poke checked away from him and taken by his teammate, Derek Pierce. Pierce from Normandy tries to stick handle. He's met by one of the Team Gold members. Cross ice. Team White has it centering. Pass, and it's knocked down. That was Shaleen. Sent up and out to neutral ice where Team White will collect it. Derek Pierce sends it forward. A shot and iron, perhaps, off the blade of Alessio Simpson. And it comes all the way back out. And it's collected by Team White. They'll set up and restart the charge from behind their own net. Austin Andrews from the Mentor Cardinals. With some speed into the offensive zone. Andrews to his right. Shoots and a save by his teammate Wilkinson. A pair of Mentor, Mentor Cardinals right there. I'm sure they that happens a lot in practice over the course of a season up in Mentor. Wilkinson got the better of him that time. Another shot and a save by Wilkinson. Two minutes, eight seconds to go. First period. First of two. one nothing gold team. Brad Sims, the only goal so far in this one from the Kent Roosevelt Rough Riders. Michael Galchik from Strongsville behind his own net. Sends it forward too far. It's going to go all the way down to Vincenzo Bacardi. Bacardi taps it to a teammate. Long outlet pass. Cross ice it goes. Shaleen. To the near side, Dylan Giraldo. <coughs> Shaleen again. Gains the zone from the right side. Skates behind the net. Team White looking for the equalizer. They had a flurry of activity in the first three or four minutes. Here's a shot or a chance. And fanning on it was one of the white team members there. The puck trickles all the way back to the defensive zone. One minute to go in the first of two periods in this second of four games. Winner will advance to play Team Blue in the championship game. The loser will have to skate them and lace them right up again. They'll go in the consolation game. That'll follow this one about five minutes after the conclusion of this contest. Still just a one-goal contest. 40 seconds to go in this first of two periods. Team White sends it forward into the offensive zone. A shot and just wide off the blade of Justice Owens from Amherst Steel. All the way to the left point, kept in by Wylan Hill. But it's sent right back out with 20 seconds to go. Buck trickles, not all the way to the end line, so no icing is called. And time for one more rush, perhaps. Derek Pierce from Normandy skates into the offensive zone. To his left, he's met by some defense. Cross ice pass, shot and pushed aside by Wilkinson and the horn will sound. We've reached the midway point of this second game between Team White and Team Sports, Team Gold. So Team White is the Sports on Tap team and they lead 1-0. Why Sports on Tap? Well, three of the four teams had coaches coming into the uh, the draft that took place earlier this, earlier this week. Sports on Tap, and you are watching on the Sports on Tap YouTube page for the second year in a row, had a chance to draft a team. And so that is this Team White that I've been referring to, or Team Sports on Tap. They lead it one nothing. The only goal that first period scored by number six for Team Gold. Actually, it's Gold with the lead. I misspoke. Team Gold leading 1-0 on Team Sports on Tap. Brad Sims, the goal scorer for Kent Roosevelt. So as we hit the midway point of this 
second contest. Um, once again, a chance to remind you and thank the folks that have helped Sports on Tap bring you hockey in Northeast Ohio this fall and this winter. Ray Felton, State Farm Insurance from Hudson, Ohio. Hand-built leather goods. Been the sponsor for the Sin Bin this year on Sports on Tap. RRT Productions at rrt-productions.com and Troutland Entertainment. You are tuned to Hockey Night in Northeast Ohio. Sports on Tap's coverage of the 2024 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League All-Star Festivities for the seniors. And the teams will switch. Actually, they keep going the same direction they were. So Team White off the faceoff with a chance, a shot, and a save by Wilkinson. Here comes Gold with the only goal of the contest. Puck is taken away. And heading the other direction is Simpson. He'll skate in. He's going to get a point blank shot. Can't get it off, though. Could not get the shot off. So he'll leave it for a teammate and gets it right back. So it was Austin Andrews Simpson. He'll shoot again. He might not get a better opportunity than the one he just had, but could not get the final piece of the puzzle right there. There's a shot and a save. Mason Shaleen trying to get that equalizer. Just as it was in the first period. And there's the first goal of the afternoon for the white team. Team Sports on Tap is on the board. Alessio Simpson from the Stowe Bulldogs. Gets the equalizer, one to one, time of the goal, one minute into this second period. Simpson, 18 goals, 13 assists on the season. He'll have one on the senior all-star game. And Team Sports on Tap is on the board. Rob Troutman with a fist bump up here, high above Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. One, one. Back underway. So that second period started out much like the first. The difference is White finally converted. Back underway. Simpson from Shaleen and Derek Pierce. So the two Stowe Bulldogs team up with an extra assist from Normandy Invaders. Derek Pierce, it's 1-1. Here's another shot, and this time Wilkinson with a save. So shots on goal are being kept on the big jumbotron here. It is eight to four. Team White with the advantage, but now they got the equalizer. Here comes Team Goal. Gold back the other way, three on two into the offensive zone. That shot is deflected up into the netting and out of play, a stoppage with 7.38 to go. Stoppage on the ice, the clock continues to run in this running clock format. Both teams will change up. Face-off will be to the left of Vincenzo Bacardi, who recorded 17 saves in that first contest to propel Team Blue into the finals. He's not been tested nearly as often in this one. Shaleen controls off the face-off, sends it forward. Here comes a chance, shot, and a save by Wilkinson. Sprawling on the ice goes one of the Team White members, and now one-on-one. -on -one. A chance and a save by Bacardi. A nice move there with a the stick handling by David Nayari from North Olmsted. And uh, a shout-out to the North Olmsted program. Nayari and Geraldo representing North Olmsted came out in the news this week that uh, the North Olmsted leadership and that is the school leadership looking to potentially uh, do away with that program but it's resulted in a huge amount of support by the community to save the North Olmstead program and we certainly if you are listening and you're from North Olmstead today get out and support that team hockey is better with more teams in Northeast Ohio if you're in the North Olmstead community and you've got a young one there is a Facebook page out there to collect information to help the uh, the hockey community in North Olmstead show the administration uh, the interest in hockey in the North Olmstead community and save that program. We certainly want to see that happen. So um, make sure to, to take a look for that. Um, North Olmstead being represented very well this afternoon by both Dylan Geraldo and David Nayari here 
in the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League 2024 Senior All-Star Competition. And as we continue, five and a half minutes as the clock winds down in a 1-1 contest here between Team White, the Sports on Tap team, and Team Gold, the team head coached by Troy Grawl from Strongsville. That puck is sent forward, and we got a breakaway right here. And on the goaltender, shot, and just missing the goal was number six. That was Sims looking for his second of the afternoon. And so Team White lives to see the deadlock remain for the moment. Brad Sims looking to notch his second and just missed the goal in that one. Down to 4.55 to go. Cross ice pass for the white team. Down into the corner. With some offensive control. Shaleen puts a shot in. A late reaction, but a save by Wilkinson with 4.35 to go. Still in the offensive zone. Team White sends this one in again. All the way out it comes to center, center ice. Shaleen has it on his stick again. He's going to skate back in. He'll shoot, and a save by Wilkinson. Collecting it is Galchik from Strongsville. He sends it forward, but not out. It's kept in, cross ice pass down in between the circles. A sharp angled shot to the side of the net and the puck trickles to the far side. That was Will Grozen. Check that it was uh, Justice Owens on Team White. Will Grozen wearing number four from Strongsville for Team Gold. White with another rush up the ice, just under four minutes to go. White trying to come from behind. They trailed one nothing in this one, the equalizer early in this second period from Alessio Simpson. Down to 340 as the puck is tied up on the near side boards. The team's battle for it. It trickles out and controlled by Gold. We'll see if they can get a rush up the ice. They feather it through, and icing will be the call. Good idea, just couldn't quite connect with... Number nine, that was Jacob Waite sneaking forward from the Nordonia hockey program. Also see Owen Tyndall out there on the ice this afternoon from Nordonia. T Tyndall, maybe the smartest guy on the ice. Word from him is uh, he's got the two-time highest GPA on the Nordonia program. Uh, we've heard of 4.0 GPAs. Owen Tindall with a 5.0 GPA. Uh, certainly um, had a great career at Nordonia in the hockey program. Had great things in front of him with a 5.0 GPA. Here we got a breakaway for Team White. Sent and on goal, but saved by Wilkinson. Once again, that was Alessio Simpson looking to get his second of the afternoon. And both goaltenders have now turned away breakaways by the goal scorers. Both Sims and Simpson thwarted on their second attempts to try and put their respective teams on top. Here comes Team White again, down to 2.15 to go in this contest. Shot wide and around the boards all the way. Here comes another chance. One-on-one. -on -one. Controlled for the moment by Galchik. Centered, but taken away. And now the other direction. Derek Pierce from Normandy gains the zone. Pierce... Dangles, tries to get through. He does somehow. Backhanded shot is turned away by Wilkinson. Minute 45. Winding down here in this contest. One to one. Turned over at neutral ice, but the white team had to wait to get on side and not long enough as entering the zone was Simpson before a teammate was able to exit. Offsides is the call, and the faceoff will ensue in front of the gold bench. 120. Is there a game winner in the final 75 ticks of this one? Tyndall wins it back. Into the offensive zone. Shot wide. I believe that was Pierce once again. Loose puck. Sent forward. There's a couple of gold teammates there into the offensive zone. This is 
A shot that goes across the crease. Rebound shot and a score! 45 seconds to go and the gold team is on the board and takes the lead. It looks like perhaps number five from Team Gold, Michael Galchik from the Strongsville Mustangs from the left point. He beats Westlake's Vincenzo Bacardi and he's going to head to the net, or head to the bench rather. That clock is winding down to 20 seconds and they do stop it. It'll be an empty net right now, five on four. Team White desperately needing an equalizer. And offsides is the call and that's going to just about do it with a running clock. The clock's going to run down. It was Michael Galchik with the game winner. The assist to Will Grozen. The Strongsville tandem comes through for Coach Troy Grawl. And the gold team of head coach Troy Grawl will advance to the final by virtue of that Laser beam in the last 30 seconds of the contest and Team Sports on tap, Team White, relegated to the consolation game. Rob Troutman can't believe it to my right. They won't get much rest. They'll be right back out and they'll have to play again in the third place game. Congratulations to Michael Gauchik on the game winner. And they'll be back in about 40 minutes to play in that championship game against Team Blue. As we get a break right now, we want to uh, take a moment and recognize something that happened in the greater Cleveland hockey community this week and unfortunately the circle of life um, is being felt um, very deeply today as we recognize the loss of longtime Mayfield hockey coach Steve Bogus, who was just a uh, a very influential individual in the hockey community. Won a couple of Baron Cups with the Mayfield program earlier in the uh, the teens, about uh, 10 years ago or so. Uh, passed away earlier this week due to um, a rare form of liver cancer. And uh, the Northeast Ohio hockey community tonight is encouraging yeah, anyone with an earshot to uh, put their sticks out tonight. It sticks out for Coach Steve Bogus in memory of him and the influence he had on uh, the Mayfield hockey program and on hockey throughout Northeast Ohio on the east side. I believe Coach Grozen was uh, in, in a past time, perhaps a member or even a player in the Cleveland Heights hockey program. Uh, but certainly, if you have been on the east side of uh, Cleveland or involved in Northeast Ohio hockey at any point, um, certainly uh, the name Steve Bogus. Uh, carries a lot of weight, and we remember him th this afternoon. Um, uh, prayers out for uh, the family and friends uh, of Coach Steve Bogus. Passed away on March 18th.
Welcome back to Hockey Night Northeast Ohio's Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League 2024 Senior All-Star Game festivities from Rocket Mortgage Hill Fieldhouse. This is Tim Nichols, and you are tuned into Sports on Tap's YouTube page, Sports on Tap, covering all the festivities this afternoon from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And it's a pleasure to sit in today um, for my good friends Ed Dick and Sean Duffy, who are unable to make it. This is Tim Nichols. You normally hear on CVCA live stream, but coming to you today on Sports on Tap. We are halfway through the festivities this afternoon. The preliminary rounds are completed. Team Blue uh, in game one defeated Team Black by a score of 3 0. Three goals in that contest scored by three Rocky River Pirates. It was Jacob Jackson who got them on the board early, and then teammate AJ Ritvo. Uh, made it 2-0, and in the second period, a third goal for Team Blue by Sean McDonough from Rocky River. So the three Rocky River Pirates uh, came through for their head coach, Chris Kogan, from Rocky River um, and put them in the championship game this afternoon. In the second game that was just completed, the scoring early in that contest, Team White and Team Gold Brad Sims from Kent Roosevelt got Team Gold on the board in the first period with a, a goal. Uh, the equalizer early in the second period was scored by number seven for Team White. Team Sports on tap, Alessio Simpson. And yet, right in the final 30 seconds in the, the dying embers of the period, the game-winning goal scored by number five, Michael Galchik, with assist from his teammate from Strongsville, Will Grozen and his shot from the left point put Team Gold into the championship round uh, later on this afternoon. Upcoming now, after the Zamboni finishes up its uh, work on cleaning the ice, will be the consolation game, and that'll pit Team Black against Team White, the Sports on Tap team. And once again, the championship game on approximately 4.40 this afternoon will pit Team Blue against Team Gold. The Sports on Tap crew is made up today of Rod Troutman, Rob Troutman, Jeff Troutman on camera, and Noah Jacobson in the house, along with yours truly, Tim Nichols. It's been their pleasure to bring you hockey throughout the, uh, the barns of Northeast Ohio throughout this 2023 2024 hockey season and once again congratulations go out to the three Barron Cup winners this season the Benedictine Bengals their second straight Barron Cup and third overall in Barron Cup one the Strongsville Mustangs champions of Barron Cup two their first ever Barron Cup championship in Strongsville I believe in the 23 year history of that Strongsville Mustangs program and the Normandy Invaders Second Barron Cup victory and championship in three years, and I believe their fifth overall for the Invaders program across all three divisions of hockey in Greater Cleveland's Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League. So the Invaders, Mustangs, and Bengals, all champions this year in Barron Cup activity. Once again today, we are honoring and getting a chance to watch one final time the Senior All-Stars here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Nice crowd has gathered of family and friends. Later on tonight, many of these skaters will stick around for tonight's game at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse between the Cleveland Monsters and I believe the Hershey Bears are in town. Um, and so it is a repeat of the 
2016 Calder Cup Championship. Both those teams competing in the Eastern Conference of the AHL for our last number of years, so certainly not an unexpected uh, matchup. But it's always great to see the Monsters and the Bears go at it. The two teams with the most Baron Cups in uh, Calder Cup AHL history, um, or at least the two cities, uh, the Monsters winning as the Lake Erie Monsters back in 2016. All the prior Baron Cups and banners that hang here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse won under the Cleveland Barons um, logo many, many moons ago in the 50s and 60s. So there's still time for you to get out and make your way down to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse for um, a good Friday night of hockey here in Northeast Ohio. But right now, we don't want you to go away. We've got more high school hockey coming up for you on Sports on Tap on the Sports on Tap YouTube page. And if you are enjoying the coverage this afternoon, we encourage you to subscribe and follow Sports on Tap both on their YouTube page and on their social media contacts. You can find them on Facebook, on Twitter, and I believe on Instagram as well. So Noah Jacobson has been posting this afternoon. Look for his posts under the Sports on Tap umbrella. And you can follow them all year long. Sports on Tap will be back for you. And it looks like maybe Rob Troutman's going to join me on uh, this. Yeah, hey, Rob. great job, Tim. Hey, Rob. Nice work. Rob running all the, uh, pushing all the buttons and making sure everything gets out on the air today. Rob, you've been doing this for how long? Oh, it's been. At Sports on Tap. Oh, uh, Sports on Tap, it's probably been, what, probably 10 years plus, 12 maybe, something like that. You've built quite a brand here at oh. SOT. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, a labor of love, as I know it is. Yeah, and, you know, me and Josh started off. I mean, we had a few different names. You know, it's been probably 20 years. But then we changed into, we went from audio to video, and uh, Sports on Tap was the name we kind of stuck with. And, you know, Josh is, is uh, That's you know, Josh the, Jeffy. Yeah, Josh Jeffy. He, he's the brains of uh, some of our ideas. We, we all kind of are. You know, we throw out different ideas and try different things, but it's a lot of fun. We love high school sports, so this has worked out great. Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League and Ryan Kelber do a great job, including us. And it's fun to be a part of this. I mean, what a great atmosphere here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And we'll be here for the uh, Monsters game after, which is always fun. And we're just lucky that you were able to help us out. You know, you Noah does a great job. He gets all the different camera views by the ice. You're great at play-by-play. -play. I know Ed and, and Sean appreciate it. And they do a great job. They have fun, too. Um, you know, those guys love doing this. Um, you know, Ed's really come, you know, he, I didn't know he, if he was even going to do play-by-play. -play. I was doing play-by-play -play for a while, and Ed took over, does an outstanding job. Him and Sean work together really well. And, and even when you come in, it's like seamless. You know, everybody gets along and has fun doing it. It's a lot of fun to, to bring the, the coverage to, you know, the fans uh, here in Northeast Ohio. And uh, you know, the reality is, in high school hockey here in Northeast Ohio, it is going to be an extreme rarity for anybody to go pro. Yeah. So you're you're talking about that quest for the Baron Cup, and that quest to play here under the big jumbotron at yeah. Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Yeah, it's a memory that you just don't forget. So Brad Sims scored that goal, the game-winning goal by Michael Galchik in that last contest. I mean, they're going to remember that for the rest of their lives. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's such a you know, you're playing on a professional rink here. I mean, you know, the Cavaliers play here, the Monsters. You know, you were here for that 2016 championship. How cool was that? It was a great night in Cleveland history when the Monsters won the championship. Um, but back to Sports on Tap. So uh, yeah. hockey season's going to be over, but uh, Sports on Tap's season continues. Um, you and Noah and the, the rest of the team going to go out and cover high school football this fall? Yeah, absolutely. We'll cover football. I know uh, Noah's talking about uh, softball and baseball coming up that he's going to go out and cover and – and we're going to have some interviews sprinkled in there. You know, we do a summer spotlight. Um, so, you know, just check our website for that, sportsontappodcast.com. We'll have some interviews of players, coaches, you know, alumni. Um, but uh, we'll also, uh, Noah's still going to be doing highlight videos for, for baseball and softball. He loves going out and doing that. So we're going to have that as well. Excellent. So Sports on Tap active in the spring and then back in the fall and then yeah, next winter, you know, look for Sports on Tap once again at a rink near you 
But we're not done here today. We've got two yep. more contests, and the uh, consolation game is coming up next. The teams have returned to the ice. It's Team Black and uh, Team White, Team Sports on Tap. Josh Jeffy. Yep, that was a tough one. Uh, I mean, they, they played great in that in that game. You know, we had had chances, and it just didn't work out. But yeah. you know what? Give credit. You know, both of these, you know, the other teams played great. Um, you know, and, and it's fun to be a part of, that's for sure. Absolutely. So uh, the draft, we hope you had a chance to watch on Monday night. Uh, it was great to have a lot of the coaches on and hear them talk about their seasons and then talk about the players that you're seeing here on the ice. Uh, Coach Grawl, Coach Laurie, and Coach Kogan. And then, of course, we mentioned Josh Jeffy from Sports on Tap was able to draft the uh, the white team that you see here. And um, Thank you to Sports yeah. on Tap for their coverage of today's game. As we speak, very cool. Being recognized by the public address folks here at uh, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, so it's always great to get that uh, call out to you, uh, the Sports on Tap guys that are yeah, here. Yeah, very cool. And uh, hopefully, you heard wow. that over the air. I know that was really cool. Give us a shout out like that, and I mean, it's like I said. That's why we love being a part of this. You know, that all the parents and and players show their appreciation, and we're happy to do it. So it's a lot of fun, and and uh, congratulations first to Coach Kogan. You know, getting a big win in that game one. You know, I know he was laughing. He's like, man, I I can't win at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. He did win one game for us last year, and and he got a great win uh, this year. So congratulations to him and and his. Rocky River crew, and then he I know he had a few other players on his all-star team as well that, that did really well. They did. So they are back, and yep. uh, they will match up against Team Gold from Coach Grawl. So you've got uh, Rocky River and Strongsville heavily represented uh, in this upcoming championship game. But first and foremost, we're going to have Team SOT, Team Sports on Tap, against Team Black. And uh, it was good the uh, players got a little bit of break, and especially the goaltenders who have been out there nonstop. And we're just about ready to go. So Team Black. Team Black head coach by Coach Lowry from Aurora. And then Team SOT, the Team White, um, representing uh, the group here that's bringing the coverage to you. But it's not about us. It is about the players on the ice. Yeah. Uh, and as you said, we're just glad to be a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, always fun to to sit here at Rocket Mortgage Field. I tell you, it's a lot warmer in here than it is <laughs> in, in some of the rinks that we go to. Oh, man. Yeah, you ain't kidding. I mean, I'm wearing a, a winter jacket in some of the rinks we've been in. Absolutely. But we're ready to go. Derek Pierce steps in for Team SOT in the Monsters logo, and they drop the puck down. And it is controlled by Team Black. Two 10-minute running periods in this third-place consolation game. And Team Black with a rush to begin. And into the offensive zone. Lesio Simpson pushes that rush aside. Team Black tries to set up once again. They center. Shot is knocked down. And Vincenzo Bacardi in goal again for Team White, Team SOT. And they'll try and build out. On the rush is Austin Andrews oh, down the left flank. Shoots, and it's wide of the goal of Ryan Wilkinson. So just underway, first period or first minute of this third place contest this afternoon. And the puck ends behind Wilkinson's goal. And Team Black will try and build out once again. Turned over, though, and then right back. Team Black with it, two on two into the offensive zone. The puck is sent behind the net. Digging it out for Team Black is Troy Cray. Now Pierce for Team White from Normandy. Derek Pierce tries to get through a couple of defenders, and it's sent straight out, and Bacardi will have to play it as he pushes it forward to a teammate, and that teammate on Team White is Andrews. Check that. It's Justice Owens down the right side. Backhanded shot and a save by Wilkinson. That was Mason Shaleen. It's sent forward and unable to control it was number four, Alexander Rzepka. 
Good effort to keep that in, and it's chipped forward. That was Christian Harrison. Christian Harrison is always hustling. Here's a chance. Shot, save off the blocker, rather off the pad of Bacardi. As he was going right, the puck went left, and he got the pad down on it to keep that puck out of the net. Just about to say, Christian Harrison always hustling. We'll definitely miss seeing him on the Westlake Demons next year. Early action here in this third place consolation game. Another rush for Team Black into the offensive zone. It is Harrison. He sends it up. Skating in and dishing to the near side. Puck is sent back down low. Harrison there, centers, and uh, it's poked aside by Dominic Mister from Twinsburg. Team White with a rush, Simpson. Can't control, but it's poked aside, and he's going to get it back. Simpson between the circles, behind the net. Wraparound chance, shot, and a save by Wilkinson. Get a shout-out to Ryan Wilkinson, taking a break out of his mentor lacrosse season. The only junior on the ice here today, stepping in and filling in a goaltender with only one goalie available as part of the senior All-Stars, and he's going to get another chance right here, a shot and another save. This time he stops Austin Andrews, his mentor teammate, once again. Here's another chance by Andrews. And Wilkinson up to the task. Andrews behind the net. Has it poke checked away to the near side. No score. Three and a half minutes gone. And retreating all the way back to collect it for Team White is Alessio Simpson. He dishes to Mason Shaleen, a pair of teammates from Stowe. Long pass too far for Andrews and sticked aside by Wilkinson. Andrews, though, takes it away. Yet to solve his teammate in goal. He battles and gets it behind the net. Sets up with pressure. He attracts a trio of Team Black teammates to Pierce. He skates into the circles and is knocked down. A check, a rare check in this game. And uh, Simpson, rather, uh, Pierce gets back up. Team White from SOT, representing SOT. With pressure. In front, point blank shot, just wide off the stick of Shaleen. Centered once again. Pierce back down. Shot and a save. That was Justice Owens who put it on net. More offensive control. Pierce. Back to the near side. Back to Pierce. Pierce winds up. He's going to shoot. Deflected to the far side corner off of Marcus Epp, who's out there. And now it trickles out, and here's a chance for Team Black. Shot and a save, and Shaleen's stick goes into Bacardi. Still loose. Centered in front shot. Save from the point blank spot. It looked like Epp had a chance right there. Bacardi up to the task. Back to the other side. Pierce tried to feather it through, looking for Simpson. Couldn't quite catch up to it. Now it's controlled on the far side board. Centered, shot, save off the backhanded attempt. Justice Owens there. Owens sends it back behind the net. Controlled by Team White, centered in front, shot, and a save by Wilkinson from just in front of him. What a great play by Ryan Wilkinson. You'll get to see him next season. His final season up in Mentor. But get on out and send, catch a Mentor lacrosse game and catch him th this spring. And his teammates. They picked up a victory yesterday over Lakewood. First full week of lacrosse season just uh, underway. It's been a cold one outside, so it's much warmer here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. This week, spring sports in Northeast Ohio take on that winter mentality until about the end of April. And Marcus Epp with a goal as we missed it completely. That save that we thought Wilkinson made down there, there was not a signal, but there is a goal awarded to Marcus Epp and they are on the board. He is on the board for Team SOT. Here comes another chance. 
And that was Simpson who got the assist on the Epp goal. So Marcus Epp on the board for Team SOT. He had 11 goals this season. Team Black with a chance right there. And we said a number of times it's a transitional season, or at least was for the, the team down in Canfield. Here's a breakaway chance. Shot and a save by Wilkinson. And talking about Marcus Epp once again, uh, the Canfield Cardinals graduated their strong goaltender, Corey Kennard, a year ago. Um, program kept going, and word is they've got a number of freshmen ready to step in and step up. And so uh, look for Canfield to do good things once again down in the blue in the 2024-2025 season when that gets underway. The whole new host of talent that's uh, coming into that Canfield program uh, next fall and next winter. Right now, Canfield be re being represented by Epp, and he's the difference. one nothing the score right now. Team SOT on top, wearing the white jerseys. Two minutes to go in this first of two periods in the third-place consolation game. Team White with some offensive zone control, and as soon as we say that, it's sent right back out to neutral ice. Sent forward and controlled by Andrews. And then sent right back out. I think what we are seeing here is uh, perhaps some of the legs uh, a little bit tired for Team Black, who played in that game that just preceded this one. Actually, they did not. Here's a chance right in front, shot, and pushed away by Wilkinson. It was Team White who played in the game just before this one, so uh, there really is not much of uh, an excuse for Team Black to be tired. One minute remaining in the first period. But it is Team White who has a big collision right there. Into the offensive zone, two on one. Here's a chance for Team Black to get the equalizer, and they do! A goal with 50 seconds to go in the period. And finally on the board for Team Black is Troy Cray. Perhaps the leading scorer in all of Northeast Ohio for the Kenston Bombers. A mashup occurred at the blue line, and it resulted in a two-on-one. Cray found it on his blade, and he put it in the back of the net. 64 goals and 70 assists, 134 points on the season. Cray gets another one. The assist on that Cray goal goes to Brandon Lurie. So it's an east side connection. Troy K Cray from Kenston and the assist to Brandon Lurie from Orange, the Orange Lions. And that's the equalizer one to one. The clock will wind down and we've reached the end of the first period of play in this third place consolation game. The score is Team Black one and Team White, Team SOT one. One to one at the end of one. And 10 minutes goes back up on the clock. It'll be a second and final 10-minute running period in this third-place game. The Big Country Music Night logo goes up on the board. Country Music Night here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse tonight. Following our games, the Cleveland Monsters will host the Hershey Bears. But we are far from done. We've got another period to go here in this third place game and then a championship game here on Sports on Tap. And we're glad that you've tuned in on a Friday afternoon. We know there's another small tournament going on this afternoon, but we're glad that you've spent or decided to spend some of your afternoon with us here at SOT. Once again, a shout out to our sponsors. The lead sponsor for Sports on Tap's coverage of Hockey Night in Northeast Ohio this winter has been Ray Felton State Farm Insurance in Hudson, Ohio. If you've got a need to get an insurance quote for your home or your auto or any other kind of insurance, you make sure to reach out to Ray Felton and let him know that you heard about him on Sports on Tap's coverage of hockey on SOT. Also, hand-built leather goods, just one penalty so far today. It happened in the first game. They have been the sponsor of the Sin Bin all season long here on Sports on Tap. And a big thank you goes out to hand-built leather goods. RRT Productions at rrt-productions.com 
and Troutland Entertainment. Uh, the four key sponsors that helped bring you the coverage here on Sports on Tap this winter and today for that matter. One to one in this third place game. We're back underway. Team SOT in their offensive zone, the, the white jerseys. Looking to get a win out of this contest. Team Black coached by Joe Lowry from Aurora. Got the equalizer right there at the end of the first period, and we're in a 1-1 deadlock. Team Black, a little more energy as we start this second period. There's a shot, goes wide. That was Ben Trombetto. First mention of him so far in this second contest. Trombetto and his teammate Alexander Zepka from Benedictine, Baron Cup champions. Here comes another chance for Team Black. In and off the post on the far side. That was Ben Carrier from Solon, the Comets, who had a great rebound season as well. Solon a year ago, winless uh, on the campaign. This year, they got a new infusion of talent, three or four good freshmen along with a a bunch of others, including Carrier, who had some experience. And uh, not only did they rebound, but they won a game in the Baron Cup. So a shout-out to the Solon Comets. Um, and Ben Carrier being rep representing the Comets here in the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League 2024 All-Star Game for seniors. 8.30 to go. A little bit under that here. So the score is tied 1-1. One one. Here comes a shot for Team White. It looked like that might have been Mason Shaleen from Stowe. And the puck deflects up and out of play. We'll hit a reset. A face off to the right of the goaltender, Ryan Wilkinson, on that far side. Derek Pierce in for Team White. It's dropped down. He pushes the puck to the near side. It pops up and it's controlled by the black team as they come down the other direction. A shot and a relatively easy save and cover for Vincenzo Bacardi. Clock winding down to 7.38. And Bacardi will see a face-off to his right. Trey uh, Cray steps in, but loses that one. Control behind the net, but he takes it away. Cray in the circles. Setting up now to the slot, leaves it for the left point. Shot in and kicked aside by Bacardi. Into the corner. Lurie for the moment, and now it's the other direction. Alessio Simpson has one goal earlier today. He's got it on his stick. Simpson cycles it back down low. He finds Andrews. Austin Andrews from Mentor. Andrews taken down, no call. And Simpson will clean it up and bring it right back into the offensive zone. Simpson in the circle, now below the end line. Has a poke checked away. 6.40 to go. One to one. Long outlet pass. Knocked down at center ice. Simpson cross ice and back into the offensive zone. He finds teammate Shaleen. Teammate today and a teammate for his last four years down at Stowe. Stowe Bulldogs, a newer program, had a lot of success early, made it to the Baron Cup Championship uh, during the junior year of Simpson and Shaleen. And here comes Team Black once again. Here comes Cray, dangles, gets almost to the net, into the corner. Sends it back up all the way to center ice, and they'll have to retreat. Will Team Black, and they dump it right back in, on goal and gloved down by Bacardi. He leaves it for his teammate. That's Justice Owens, who sends it forward. He finds Shaleen. Shaleen can't control it. Deflects into the far side corner. Gets it right back in front. Backhanded shot. It ricochets up and over the net. It's now behind the net of Wilkinson. Outlet pass sent forward. Two on three. Poke checked away. Cray will collect it. Cray, uh, Cray enters the zone. Dangles. Skates in. Has it poke checked away. And that was Wyland Hill on defense. The defenseman for the Normandy Invaders. So Cray, perhaps the leading scorer in Northeast Ohio. Wyland Hill, the Baron Cup champion from Normandy, not intimidated by the white division talent there. 
And the other direction comes to Team SOT in the white jerseys. Dominic Mister, he knows how to score from Twinsburg. But has it poke checked away as we wind down past the halfway mark in this second and final stanza of the third place consolation game. 4.48 to go. One to one. Goal scores in this contest. Troy Cray for Team Black, and it was Marcus Epp for Team SOT. So Kenston and Canfield with the goals so far in this one. Who will it be? Can we break the ice? And the 1-1 tie. 4-20. A rush down the left flank. Backhanded shot. Wilkinson pushes it aside. That was Simpson. Now the other direction. End-to-end -end action. Alexander Rezepka has it taken away. Here comes Austin Andrews. Andrews skates in. They can't control. But kept in for the moment. Nice job by Alessio Simpson. And Shaleen sends it down low. Kept it in. Around the boards it goes to the near side. But it's Team Black with it. And they'll get a rush. The shot was wide. It was Tommy Moores. Moores, the defenseman from Kenston. Son of Coach Tom Moores. And the Kenston Bombers had a great season this fall, and this winter rather. More than 30 wins. I think they set a record for most wins in school program history. Just an outstanding season. Only three losses. A loss in divisional play to CVCA. A loss to the Strongsville Mustangs in the championship of the Varen Cup. And, of course, uh, a loss as every team but one has in the state tournament. Certainly a lot to be proud of in the Kenston Bomber program this past season. Icing the call down to 250. It'll be an offensive zone faceoff when we resume for Team Black and head coach Joe Lowry. Can they control and get one past Vincenzo Bacardi? He's had a great afternoon, Bacardi has. Shut out in the first contest. Two goals in the second, and right now just one in the third. So only three have been by him this afternoon. Here comes a chance for the white team. Into the corner it goes, down to 220. And back out to center ice. Quickly back into the zone. Offsides, Justice Owens a little too anxious as the clock continues to run, 2.09 to go. Troy Cray for Team Black. Marcus Epp for Team SOT in the white jerseys. Under two minutes, face off in front of the black team's bench. And Black controls into the offensive zone. Take it away. Delayed off sides. Minute 35. Shot and a save and a turnover right there. And Bacardi keeps it a 1-1 contest. I believe that was Trombetto with that chance. Down to minute 20. Sent forward. And here comes into the offensive zone. Owens, Owens, sharp angled shot, misses the net. Comes all the way around and is kept in for the moment. Down to a minute five. Here comes Team Black with a rush into the offensive zone. Cray has it on his backhand. Dangles gets it front. He'll shoot and he'll score. Troy Cray. His second of the contest, and that may be the game winner for the Kenston Bombers, Troy Cray. 64 in the regular season and two this afternoon for Team Black. 38 seconds to go when they drop the puck here. Team Black has come from behind and they take a two to one lead. Shot and a save by Wilkinson. Down to 28 seconds. Still in the offensive zone, but Cardi skates to the bench and he's gonna go off for the extra skater once again. Team SOT shoots and just wide of the net. Down to 12 seconds, five on four for Team SOT. Up to the point, Andrews shot, 
He goes wide and glove down, and that's going to do it. Troy Cray with a game winner in the final minute, his second of the afternoon in this contest, and the Kenston Bombers senior will end his Northeast Ohio high school hockey career with a pair of goals at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, and those goals are the difference in a 2-1 to -one victory for Team Black and head coach Joe Lawry. Team White, Team SOT fought hard but gave up goals in both contests in the final 30 seconds, and they'll have nothing but a memory to Remember here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse today, a pair of two to one defeats for Team SOT. And Josh Jeffy will have to do a better job on his draft research next year. That's not to be anything bad said about Team White, Team Black, or any of the other teams. We appreciate all the players today, especially those that represented sports on tap. Austin Andrews, Justice Owens, the two from Normandy, Derek Pierce and Wyland Hill. Congratulations to them on the outstanding Baron Cup Championship. Two championships. When you win two Baron Cup Championships in your high school career, Rob Troutman, you've done something special. And tip of the cap to Derek Pierce and Wyland Hill. The two from Stowe, Alessio Simpson and Mason Shaleen. They connected on a goal and assist earlier this afternoon in this earlier game. And then Dominic Mister, who just did it all at Twinsburg this season um, and throughout his career. And Marcus Epp, who scored today for Canfield and capped off his career uh, here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. On the other side, again, skating off the ice for one final time, Troy Cray and Tommy Moores, who just did it all at Kenson for Coach Tom Moores. Coach Tom, uh, just an outstanding program he's put together on the east side in Geauga County at Kenson High School. The Barron Cup champions back-to-back, -back, Alexander Rezepka and Ben Trombetto from Benedictine. And then, of course, um, the three players from Westlake, Sam Dosa and Christian Harrison. We'll see Vincenzo Bacardi again in goal in the championship game. And then Solon Comets' Ben Carrier, and Brandon Lurie, who got himself an assist this afternoon for Team Black. Congratulations to all of them, all-stars here in 2024. Please welcome back to the ice, Team Kogan and Team Graal. Team Kogan and Team Graal, as they say, have just entered the ice once again. It is the championship game as we turn the page here in the 2024 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League All-Star Competition for the Senior All-Stars. <clears throat> team Blue and Team Gold. Team Blue advanced to the championship game in the first game of the afternoon with a 3-0 three three victory over Team Black. A team dominated with five Rocky River Pirates for head coach Chris Kogan, also from Rocky River. No surprise there. And he saw three of his players find the back of the net in that first contest. Goals by Jacob Jackson, A.J. Ritvo, and by Sean McDonough. Team Gold advanced in game two in a come-from-behind fashion. Brad Sims from Kent Roosevelt scored early. And then a late game winner from Michael Galchik from Strongsville. Galchik with a, a goal, and he had an assist from his teammate, Will Grozen, also from Strongsville, and that put Team Gold into this championship game. Team Blue and Team Gold ready to go in the championship contest. We hope you are too. The referee blows the whistle, and we're ready to get underway for all the bragging rights here in the 2024 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Senior All-Star Game. Team Blue will go right to left and Team Gold left to right. We are underway, first of two 10-minute running clock periods. Vincenzo Bacardi will defend the goal down below us. And Ryan Wilkinson defending the far goal once again. The puck controlled by Team Blue into the offensive zone, sent down low. He and chasing after it is Jacob Jackson. Jackson centers. It's taken away by Team Gold. 
Out to center ice. First minute of play. With the puck for Team Blue is Ritvo. And he dishes to teammates Luke Scapulis. But offsides is the call. And we have a stoppage early on in this championship round. Back underway. Team Gold with their first rush of the championship contest. But poke checked away on the near side. Nice play right there by Aiden Kabeck from Chagrin Falls. Chagrin Falls, I believe champions of the Blue South Division this year, did a great job. Chagrin Falls program has had eight skaters this season as that puck is into the offensive zone of Team Gold. It's dug out and sent back out. And Lucas Opdyke heads the other direction. Opdyke into the circle, shoots, and a save by Wilkinson. As we were saying, Chagrin Falls and Aiden Kabeck representing the Chagrin Falls Tigers this year had a great season in the Blue South. I believe they won 13 divisional games this year with just eight players, eight skaters, and a goaltender. So the number's down in Chagrin Falls, but uh, certainly not the talent as the Tigers um, were the... Winners of the Blue South and a score. Team Blue is on the board. Loose puck picked up right there. And Chris Kogan's team takes a 1-0 lead. The goal scored by number five, A.J. Ritvo. His second of the afternoon, first of this championship contest. Ritvo from the Rocky River Pirates puts them up 1-0, Team Blue. Ritvo has it again and sends it to the near side. Ritvo from Sean McDonough and the Rocky River Pirates Ritvo connection McDonough, again puts Team Blue up 1-0. So Team Gold will have to play from behind as they did the first time around. We'll see if they can muster up the equalizer. Luke Scapulis. Sends it forward, and this will be an icing. So Team Gold will get an offensive zone faceoff. Still early in this one. 6.40 to go here in the first of two periods. Faceoff one back to Team Gold. They'll dump it down low. All the way around it comes. Behind the net and taken away. Up ice heads Lucas Opdyke. Opdyke gains the zone. Backhanded pass to a teammate. He was looking for Jason Heine from Olmstead Falls. It was poked away. Team Gold takes it away. One on two, though. Into the offensive zone, Z Brad Sims. Sims. Sends it up to the point. It's kept in. Sims gets it back. Sims at the left point. Winds up. He'll send a shot. It's deflected to the right of Bacardi. And sent out in front. Kicked aside. And on the counter comes Team Blue. Two on one if they hurry. On the right flank. Centering pass. Too far. Nice idea, though, for Team Blue. Looking for that second. Down the ice it comes. It will be icing against Team Gold and they'll retrieve the puck and take it all the way down into the offensive zone for Chris Kogan's Team Blue. one nothing, Blue. We get down to the halfway mark of this first of two periods. Sean McDonough will take the face off for Team Blue. It's one back to Gold. Sent up the ice but not out. Kept in. Luke Scapula skated in with it. Dished it, and I believe he has it back. He does in the circles. Centering pass, loose in front, and a save by Wilkinson. Into the corner and now behind the net. Centering in front, shot, and a goal. Team Blue takes a 2-0 lead.
Five minutes, 30 seconds of this first period. And I believe the goal was scored by Luke Skaplis, who did the dirty work to keep that puck in and keep the, the rush going. It's 2-0. Team Blue. The team goal scored by number 13, Luke Skaplis. It was Skaplis on the goal. And Ritvo the assist. So once again, from Ritvo, time the, goal, 432. the Rocky River Pirates connection making it work. And it's 2-0. Here comes another shot and a save by the goaltender Wilkinson. Cross ice. More pressure from Team Blue. Scapulous has it on his blade once again. Dishes up to the point. And sent back down low by Jacob Jackson. More pressure. Jackson had it. It's poked to the near side corner. And sent back down low. Jason Heine is out there as well. And finally it gets out. And the gold team will get a change. Meanwhile, Lucas Opdyke sends it forward. Into the offensive zone once again. Team Blue up 2-0 and looking for more. The puck is taken away by Brett Kappel. And it's sent around the near side board, but still not out. Kept in at the point by Kabik. Far side. Sims controls. Sends it near side, and finally the goal team breaks out into the offensive zone. Will Grosen was trying to get through, but had it taken away. And another chance from about 10 feet out on the left side. Pushed aside by Wilkinson, sent all the way down the ice. They wave off icing. Kappel digs it out. Kappel has it taken away. It was Kabeck who did that for Team Blue. They wait to get onside and enter the zone. It's Heine on the left side point. He's met by a Team Gold opponent of the same number, and that was number four, Kappel. Heine and Kappel. Kappel skates in. He's going to wind up. He's got a hard shot, but couldn't get much on that one. A save by Bacardi, and he'll head to the bench. Check that it was Will Grozen, number four. Kappel wearing number three, both from Strongsville. Grozen on that shot. Play back underway, down to a minute 15 to go here in the first period. Team Blue leading 2 0. Goal so far by a pair of Rocky River Pirates. A.J. Ritvo got the first one, and Luke Scapulis got the second one. We wind down to one minute to go. Face off will be in the offensive zone for Team Blue to the left of Wilkinson. They control. Cross ice pass and a quick shot. It deflects wide into the near side corner. Team Gold trying to build out with it, but just cannot. Team Blue have had the better of it so far in the first half of this contest. Down to the final 30 seconds. It's been a quiet existence for Vincenzo Bacardi on this side of the ice. Meanwhile, his counterpart, Ryan Wilkinson, has been very busy. Good job poke checking away. Time for one more rush. Two on two with eight seconds to go. Into the far side corner is Team Blue. Winding out of one second, and the horn will sound. And we've reached the end, the end of, the first, of the first period and the midway point of this championship contest. Team Blue, with head coach Chris Kogan, has a 2-0 lead over Team Gold and head coach Troy Grawl. It's been a good afternoon of high school hockey here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, and the Sports on Tap team it's been our pleasure to bring it to you. A good time talking to Rob Troutman between games here. 
Jeff Troutman on the main camera. Noah Jacobson roaming down low. And as always, a tip of the cap to Ed Dick and Sean Duffy, who normally are behind the headsets here, bringing the action today. This is Tim Nichols sitting in from CBCA live stream, and it's been uh, my pleasure to sit in a couple times this year. Team's getting a well-earned break, and 10 minutes remain. Here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, as we wrap up the festivities in the 2024 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League season. And the puck is dropped back down once again, and Blue will continue to go right to left as they do not change sides at all in these All-Star games. Quick wraparound chance is pushed aside by Wilkinson. Another shot, and Wilkinson gathers that in and stops it. 20 seconds into this second and final period, it's 2 to nothing. The blue team on top. Face-off control by the blue team. Another shot is pushed aside, and it's just uh, a little bit of pepper right now for Team Blue. Finally, the goal team breaks out. They send it forward. They were looking for Grozen. Could not find him. Brad Sims is out there. Gives some token pressure, but it's sent back up again. And the blue team is in the offensive zone again. Brett Kappel sends it to the near side boards, but intercepted and then sent right back behind the net. Kappel has it once again. He'll try and break out, but he's got pressure, and now he will. Kappel poke checked away, though, on a back check at center ice. And it's just been difficult sledding here for Team Gold against this experienced Team Blue. Here's a chance in front. Shot and just missing the net was Grozen. He did a good job to set up a shot at his forehand from the slot, but could not get it on goal, and Bacardi didn't even have to make a save. The other direction comes blue, but a poke check away, and here comes a potential breakaway. Another nice back check, though, and it comes in on Bacardi, and he'll cover, and Grozen will have to skate off. Good defense played right there by Sean McDutta. Not the Sean McDonough that you might hear on the airwaves. That is Sean McDonough from Rocky River. Back underway, and the puck trickles into the near side corner. Sent forward by Scapulis. He finds Ethan Emery, who's out for a shift. Emery from NDCL. Centers, and a shot pushed aside by the goaltender Wilkinson. And here comes a counter, a rare one for Team Gold. Into the offensive zone, a shot, and a blocker saved by the goaltender, Bacardi. Into the corner. It's sent forward by McDonough. Chipped right back in, but the goal team has to get onside. They do. That allows the chance for the blue team to break out once again. It's sent forward, but only for a moment, gold controls through neutral ice, and they will gain the zone. Here comes a chance, centering pass, a shot, and a save by Bacardi. One-on-one -on -one with number eight. That was David Nayari from North Olmstead. Another save on the other side by Wilkinson. 6.45 to go, 2-0 still. The blue team on top. Cross-ice pass on the back door. Shot could not be fired. I guess we'll call that misfired. It's about the only thing the blue team has done to misfire today. They've had a good afternoon, but here comes a chance. A rush is on, and now a breakaway, a shot, and a save by Bacardi. One-on-one -on -one with Michael Galchek, who had the game winner earlier. Sims now behind his own net, has a poke checked away. Galchek has it once again on the near side boards. Galchek loses the puck, though, and the other direction goes Ethan Emery. Emery into the offensive zone. On the left side, he'll shoot and wind up. A save by Wilkinson. It's chipped forward. Another two-on-one for Team Gold. Centering pass. Shot and a save by Bacardi. Another chance right there by Michael Galchik. So the clock 
does not stop. The play does. The clock continues to run in the format that we have this afternoon. 5.45 and ticking. McDonough and Sims as the puck is dropped between them. Controlled by Team Gold. Galchek skated off the puck. Actually, it was Grozen, number four, skated off the puck. Brad Sims gives pressure. But it's cleared out to neutral ice by Team Blue. Cross ice it goes. Sent four, but not controlled. And so the blue team will take over once again. It's Jacob Jackson. Jackson gains the zone. To his left, skates in and shoots, and he scores! Jacob Jackson, who the third goal of the championship game for Rocky River. For him, his second goal of the afternoon. He started off the festivities with the first goal of the afternoon about two hours ago, and he scores again from the left side just inside the point of the circle. And Jacob Jackson from Rocky River puts Team Blue up 3-0. Here's another chance. And another goal. Fast and furious, it's 4-0. So we'll see who got the fourth goal. But they skated right in off the faceoff and beat Wilkinson again. And this one is Sean McDonough. So four of the five Rocky River Pirates have scored in this championship game. So what an afternoon it's been for Coach Kogan and his seniors from Rocky River. Here comes a chance for Team Gold. They gain the zone. Dump it back down low. Centering pass in the slot, but it goes right past the stick of David Nayari. He retreats back, but has to collect it in his own defensive zone. He'll chip it off the boards and up, and Gold will control. But now they, the hill is very steep for Team Gold with 3.25 to go. A shot, and Bacardi looking for his second shutout of the afternoon. He also authored a shutout earlier today in his first game with these Team Blue team members. Into the offensive zone and centering with another chance for Team Blue. A shot and it's knocked down and other direction comes Team Gold. One on one. And here comes a chance. And a score. Team Gold is on the board. And they are on the board with North Olmsted's Dylan Giraldo. So there will be no shutout in the championship game. Geraldo, his first of the afternoon from North Olmsted. 11 goals this season and a goal in the championship game. Back underway, 4-1 to one now with two and a half minutes to go here in the championship contest from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And another chance, perhaps, but back checking and a nice job right there by Jason Heine for Team Blue. And they'll set up once again in the offensive zone. McDonough skates down low behind the net. Sean McDonough from Rocky River sets up a teammate. A shot is knocked down out to neutralize it goes. Under two minutes to go, a minute 53 left on the clock. It's sent forward. Ritvo. He'll skate and wind up. Sharp angled shot. Trickles in front after a save by Wilkinson. And the outlet pass goes to Sims. Sims chips it forward. Onside is Team Gold behind the net. It's poke checked away. And Sims from Kent Roosevelt will collect it on the near side boards. He puts a shot on toward the goal. Doesn't get to the goaltender. It's knocked aside. Sent behind the net right now. Jacob Waite had it for a moment. And now the other direction comes the blue team once again. Ritvo skates in, he shoots. And Wilkinson makes the save. We were fooled earlier today on a goal by Marcus Epp from Canfield. 
that it looked like Wilkinson saved, and they gave him a goal, so we waited right there, and that one actually was a save. So we're down under a minute. Final minute of play from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in the 2024 All-Star Game festivities for the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League on Sports on Tap. Blue team with another chance. That shot goes wide, centering attempt off the goaltender's blocker. Down to 30 seconds. Outlet for Team Gold. A weak shot there, not much on it. Good defense played. And it's sent around the boards once again. Out of the zone to neutralize. Chip forward and back in, but no one there. As Dylan Giraldo, who scored the goal, tried to gain the offensive zone. He could not. And this one goes down the ice for icing. They will wave it off. Final eight seconds. A final attempt for a goal, perhaps. Centered in front and knocked aside. The clock will wind out. And that will do it and conclude the festivities for the 2024 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Senior All-Star Game. The champions are Team Blue. Team Kogan from Rocky River. And four of his Rocky River Pirates found the back of the net in this championship game. Goals by A.J. Ritvo, by Luke Scapulis, by Jacob Jackson, and by Sean McDonough. Four goals in all. A single goal for Team Gold. That was scored by Dylan Giraldo from North Olmsted. Congratulations to all the participants this afternoon. The final score, Team Blue 4 and Team Gold 1. You have been tuned into Sports on Tap's coverage of the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League 2024 Senior All-Star Festivities. On behalf of the Sports on Tap team, headed by Rob Troutman, Jeff Troutman on camera, Noah Jacobson down low for Ed Dick and Sean Duffy, who are, as they say, on assignment. This has been Tim Nichols sitting in from CVCA Livestream. We appreciate you following SOT and CVCA Livestream this fall. We're going to get out of here pretty quickly because there's another hockey game tonight here at Rock and Mortgage Fieldhouse, the Cleveland Monsters and the Hershey Bears at 7 o'clock. But we are thankful to you that you tuned in today for all the coverage. One more shout-out to our sponsors in 2024 you're in need of insurance coverage, make sure you check out Ray Felton State Farm Insurance in Hudson, Ohio. Thank you to Ray Felton for all he has done for Sports on Tap this season. To hand-built leather goods, just one penalty today, but hand-built leather goods, the sponsor of the Sin Bin. To RRT Productions, rrt-productions.com, and to Troutland Entertainment. If you've got a need for audio and visual productions or for DJ services, make sure you check out those two fine entertainment companies as well. Once again, congratulations to head coach Chris, Cro Chris Kogan and the Rocky River Pirates, as well as the fellow team members Aiden Kabick, Ethan Emery, and we get the last one here, Vincenzo Bacardi in goal, Jason Heine uh, from Olmsted Falls. They are the champions of the 2024 Senior All-Star Game festivities here in Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Final score, Team Blue 4, Team Gold 1. On behalf of the full SOT team, we're going to bid you goodbye now. Thanks for watching. So long, everyone. Have a great weekend.